Hi everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I'm going to be showing you how to make this shoelace card. Well, that's what I'm calling it anyway. I actually saw this on Pinterest and it was on the Coastal Crafter. The one I saw was in blue and it's turned out brilliantly. I'll share the picture that I saw on my blog when I do that and I'll look back and see if there's a link to their version and I'll link that below this video as well so you can check it out. It's a really simple card. You can see that I've just kind of chopped off this side here. So I've done this as a five by seven. I'm not entirely sure. I think that one was like a four by six or something. And uh, yeah, this is what I've done. So it's just a really nice detail here. Now, of course you could, when I was doing this, I thought actually you could change this for like a corset style as well. And yeah, there's definitely, you know, lots of um, ways that you can decorate this. So it's very straightforward. So let me show you how. Okay, so as always, I've got all my stuff here. So that's the sentiment stamp set that I used for inside. It was this one here, and it's the Card Making Magic Versus stamp set. And then this is the stamp I used here. So it's the high tops, and um, you know, they've got the laces on, but if you've got any other trainer, you know, stamps that you might have yourself, um, those would work as well. It's a lovely stamp set, and you get all these other images as well, which you would have seen me use in older tutorials. And then for the sentiment, I use the happy birthday here, and then obviously that other one inside. So I'll link everything as always below. Now, one thing I'm gonna do differently with this one, and it wasn't until I was doing it and I went to stick it down, I thought this would be really nice to have eyelets all around them. So I've got these ones here. So I've got 16 silver eyelets, and I just think it's gonna be a really nice touch. I think it's just gonna really add some nice texture, make it a real tactile card. So for the card blank, I've got this gorgeous like lime kind of color here. So this is a piece of eight by seven, and along the eight inch side, you wanna score it three, okay? And then just fold and burnish, and that will give us our card blank. I've then got this piece here, which is to go inside, which is four and three quarters by six and three quarters, and that's just gonna go inside like so. And then I've got this strip here, which is just how I'm decorating the side, because when you close it, that's going to be like so and then you've got the uh, tag I guess hanging down there but that's how I'm going to decorate it this is just half an inch by six and three quarters in the holographic then a quarter of an inch in the white by the same length and then um, one eighth or something just drop it down so you've got some strips there then for the actual kind of lace part you want two pieces that are one and three eighths of an inch by six and three quarters okay so what you want to do first of all is just mark where you want to have your holes it's up to you how many you do but what i've done is along the long side is i put a marker at every three quarters of an inch so pencil mark at three quarters of an inch then one and a half then two and a quarter then three then three and three quarters four and a half five and a quarter and six okay then you can see where i've got my pencil marks there then put the other one underneath so they're both like so and then using my hole punch i'm just lining it up with each of the pencil lines i don't know that side actually as far in as i can go like so you want to keep them both together so that they all line up when we go to stick it down so I'm just following the pencil marks. Okay. Now you can rub out those pencil marks if you want, but all you need to do is just flip it over like so. So now you can see we've got our shoelace bit. I don't know what you would even call it, but um, yeah, that's what you want. So now I'm going to set all of the eyelets. So I'm just gonna use this one here, which I think is already in place. This is the cropper dial. But there's, um, there's lots on the market to do this job for you. So I'm just gonna pop it in. I haven't done this for a while. Make sure I've done it the right way. And then, yeah, I think it's gonna look great. It's gonna look so nice. Just, I think we'll finish it off because you know that's how you're, you look at your trainers or your Converse and stuff. You know, lots of them have this finish and I just think it's gonna set it off. So I'm just gonna go and finish all of these. Okay, so let me just bring them up. Look how good they look now. I'm really pleased with that. So now I'm just gonna flip it over and I'm gonna run some foam tape on each side just to raise it up because obviously I've got the eyelets there and by the time you put your ribbon through, it will, you know, it does give it quite a lot of dimension. So 
it's good to kind of raise it up so it's all the same height. So, um, lots of people asked about this. This is the Arteza tape roll which I've started using. I wanted to wait till I got through my other rolls before I started on that one. Okay, so I've got this lovely ribbon here and I, first of all, it's literally just like tying your shoes. So I'm going to go in from the bottom and I'm going from the outside in. First of all, I've got way too much here, but I'd rather have too much than not enough. I literally just scraped it with that pink ribbon because it was the perfect match. Okay, like so. And then you're just going to go under and then out across the opposite one there. So I'm just going under the opposite. Don't worry too much about, you know, if they're too tight or anything because we can sort all that out in a minute. You just, for now, just kind of start feeding them through. And then you're going to go across. I mean, you can do this any way you like. If you've got any teenagers, I know at the moment it's, it's quite the rage doing like really cool kind of different ways to, you know, lace up your um, trainers. So um, if you do have children that are doing that, then I'm sure you could maybe do one of the ways that they do theirs. But I'm just going to do a pretty standard, <laughs> straightforward way of tying your shoes. So I'm just going to carry on doing this. Okay, so that's all done. So I've got both of them coming out the top there. And what I'm going to do is stick one side down first of all, and then you can pull this one, kind of line it up where you need it, like so. All right, so I'm going to take the backing off of this one first, and you just want to get a nice even border, like so. And then with this side. And just kind of pull it about like a little gap in the middle and then just bring the rest down. You can see I've just made sure it's just nicely centered in this piece here like so. So now I'm going to stick this and this down. Okay and then I'm going to pop a hole in this one on the side there. I've already done that one there. Um, I've got the twine because I did attach it with the twine but I'm wondering whether I might just pop this straight through. And I just let it hang down. I mean I didn't put any tape underneath it or anything like that so you know if you want to secure it a little bit more then by all means. So that bow I actually stuck on separately but I'm wondering this one because I've got so much left over I can just do it all in one go actually. Okay I actually think that turned out okay just keeping it all joined together so you know it's up to you you can attach your bow you know separately or just keep it as I did so I'm just gonna stamp my sentiment I always leave this to last minute I think that's okay I'm happy with that and there you have it yeah, so I hope you've enjoyed my take on this card. I think it's turned out brilliantly and I'll definitely be making some more and um, I think it's going to be a popular one with my friends um, for their children who are all starting to come into their teenage years now. So uh, I think these are going to be popular. So thank you for watching and I'll be back again soon with another tutorial. Bye.